Okay, let's continue to look at playbooks. Today we're going to look at roles and a more automated way of lo loading certain variable files and parts of your playbook. So rather than having a single playbook with everything you need in it, um, you can use a file structure. And when Ansible sees that file structure, it expects certain things to be present. And when those things are present, they will automatically load into the play. We're also going to take advantage of Ansible Galaxy. Galaxy is a, a free resource based on Git that gives you access to thousands of playbooks that have been tried and tested and used. They give you a jump on your own automation needs. You log in with your GitHub credentials, and then we're going to install our HAProxy server now on CentOS. So let me search for HAProxy CentOS. And we have two options. Um, this one has a passing build and more downloads. So let's try it. And as you can see, there is a installation command using Ansible Galaxy, which loads with your Ansible installation. OK. I'm going to run this. And if all goes as planned, the files will be automatically put into my Etsy Ansible roles subdirectory. And there it is. Okay. Within the download, we see this file structure. Roles expects at least one of these subdirectories to exist. And um, within the subdirectories, a file called main.yaml. So if we look at the tasks main.yaml, as you can expect, it's going to hold the tasks from the playbook. Whoops. OK, uh, so there's some things here. We don't have firewall D running, for example, but this looks like it is going to do what we want to do, and we don't have to do a lot of typing. So if there are any handlers, or handles, or tasks, or templates, or variables needed in your playbook, they would be in these subdirectories. If you're running tests, uh, or you have default defaults. So a variable could be something for a specific application, whereas the default values, when present, uh, are used in every other case. Um, the meta subdirectory is, is used more for uh, keeping data about uh, uh, the build, the version, et cetera. Let's go ahead and read the readme. OK, mm, nothing earth shattering here. Um, OK, he gives us an example inventory. We're going to use our own inventory. And then an example playbook. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, because we will use this. So what we're missing from this role subdirectory is uh, 
something called Site.yaml. Site.yaml is the master playbook for your site using the roles uh, function. So Site.yaml can hold all of the references to all of the roles that you have installed. So let's say we had more than this HA proxy installed, but we had hundreds of applications in there. We could configure site.yaml to manage all of them. So when you came, when someone came to deploy or to build or, or fix or change anything within your Ansible environment, you're giving them a structured way to do it, a standard way to do it, and this data can be shared not only on Galaxy, but with your uh, coworkers and with your colleagues. So I'm going to go ahead and start, make a site.yaml file. And we make it a YAML file and then insert what we copied. Oh, wrong one. Shoot. Let me go back and get that. Could have just typed it, but I won't make a mistake if I do it this way. So we don't have we don't have to give it a name because our role has already pretty much given it a name. And we don't want to use this host because it's not part of our inventory, but we do have an HA proxy. All right. So if everything's configured and set up correctly, if we run the site.yaml playbook, then Everything in the role subdirectory that we're pointing to will run at play. The tasks, the templates, everything. Oh, let's go back and look at those templates. Actually, let's look at the bars. Whoops. Live D is going to, uh, when it runs, is going to uh, manage our VIP, our virtual IP address. So 192.168.1.100 looks good for our VIP. Um, in a real world scenario, you would point your clients to that IP address via a domain name and then um, Keep live D, make sure that the uh, HA proxy server uh, is um, listening on that port or on that IP address. Then HA proxy, when traffic comes into that address, takes over and applies rules. Uh, in this case, the HA proxy configuration has nothing to do with our demo environment, but I'm gonna keep it as it is now. It should install still, it just won't do anything. Um, and we'll take an opportunity later to use Ansible to create a correct HA proxy configuration. All right, so let's run it. I want to put too many. All right. Ansible playbook. Site .yaml. All right. Okay, it's found the correct server. Updated install keep live.
Install HA proxy. Wonderful. So that was a way to deploy really quickly without a lot of typing using a standard directory structure and a the concept of roles within Ansible.